Hello guys, hope you all are doing well. So today I am here bringing you the Indian software SQL interview questions. So I had recently attended the interview for data analyst position at Indian software and uh, I had shared the video of uh, the SQL coding questions of round one and today I am here bringing you the interview questions for round two with the complete SQL query, the data set and uh, if you haven't yet checked out the round one questions, I would leave the link in description below. So do check it out and uh, let's get started for today without much further ado. Alright guys, so the first question goes, you need to write a SQL query to find the teachers who teach only the subjects maths and science. So this was the data set given to me. This is the fatality table with three columns, teacher, subject and the marks. So we can see that we have teachers T1, T2, T3, T4 and T5 and uh, we have certain subjects. So we need to find teachers who are teaching specifically two subjects and those two subjects should be math and science. So let's hop on to the SQL server. Right guys, so I have just created the replicated the same data into this faculty table created. All right, so coming on to the solution. So as discussed, uh, first we need, uh, let us first check for the teachers uh, who are teaching two subjects, right? So we have, if we look at our data set, we have T1 and T4 specifically teaching two subjects. So T1 uh, is for math and English and T4 for math and science. So from here, uh, we only need specifically math and science faculty. So for that, what uh, we let's just break it down step by step. So the first part of the query, we are just getting the same result as we had discussed. So here basically the crux of the question lies in this line wherein we are using the sum case statement to check for math and science. So the idea here is we are using the case statement as a flag to check for math and science. So if it is one, it uh, goes uh, first if we take the T4 case. So in the first record it is maths is the subject so it turns one and uh, then it checks through the next record of uh, T4, the science is the subject, so it becomes plus one, so T equals two, and uh, uh, upon summing the cases, and uh, this should basically uh, be the case. And in case of T1, it just is, uh, the sum would be one plus zero, which is one. So here specifically, we will get the result as T4. So this was the solution for our first question. Second question guys, so the second question is write a SQL query to find the monthly count of new customer acquisitions for the year 2023. So basically we are given a rights table which is having uh, like uh, these columns of write ID, customer ID and then we have a timestamp and city ID and write status. So basically uh, Indium is uh, hiring for uh, as a and their client is Uber, so it's external Uber. So that's why they are giving these kind of questions. And uh, here uh, we need to find the monthly count of new customer acquisitions. So monthly count of new customer acquisitions here. Uh, so guys, so first idea that comes to our mind is that uh, we have to group the data which is given uh, to us like this. We'll group it by months. And uh, to know the unique customers, we can count the distinct customer ID as new customers. And uh, year is 2024 and or 23, whatever is asked in question. And uh, by this, it, and we order by month, we get the uh, distinct customers who can be told as unique new customers. Is this approach correct, guys? Is this I uh, query correct? No. So why? Because we are counting the distinct customers uh, grouping by each month. But 
what if that distinct customer id is in different months we just need the customers who are using the service for first time it is their first ride in a particular uh, it could be in any particular month but it should be their first ride so for that to know such customers first we need to actually take the first ride ct so this is again a ct question and uh, we are just uh, let us just see what our city reflects so we are just taking the minimum of timestamp so here our data is less but uh, this ensures that uh, we take the first ride of the customer and now in this CTE we can uh, do the grouping by month and then count the customer IDs such customer IDs as new customers from this first ride CT so that we can get the exact count grouping by the month of how many custo new customers are there for which month so and year is specified according to the question so here now uh, we'll actually get the uh, I'm sorry for running this <laughs> this way so here we will get the result in such manner where we get month and the number of new customers for that particular month as asked for the question so guys these were the two questions which we had solved one use the sum case concept and the other of ct concept so these were the two questions asked in the round two and let me know how this helped or was this really helpful so i had ensured to keep it unfiltered and clear and quite candid so thank you so much for watching and have a nice day